The economy of the Dominican Republic is one of the fastest growing economies in Latin America and the Caribbean. The Dominican Republic has the ninth largest economy in Latin America. It is a mixed economy that depends on many economic sectors. It mainly depends on agriculture, mining, trade and services. In this video, we will show you future mega projects in the Dominican Republic. Before we start share the video and comment. Construction of the Washington Capital Solar Park 2 and 3 The Washington Capital Solar Park 2 and 3 were officially inaugurated, which together add up to 140 MWP and will be located in the municipality of San Antonio de Guerra in Santo Domingo, and will be development, execution, startup and operation of the parks, with almost 150,000 panels, 20 transformer stations and a substation each, projects that bring the Dominican Republic closer to its goal until 2025, the year in which they expect 25% of the electricity consumed by the country to come from renewable energy. Building the first international airport The Dominica International Airport project is located in the northeastern part of the Dominican Republic. It is an island country in the Caribbean region of Central America. The construction area of the project is about 22,000 square meters. As for the main content of the Dominica International Airport project, construction of new 2,850 meters runway, new terminal building, air traffic control building, tower, general aviation hangar, oil depot, fire station, central substation, cargo terminal, sewage treatment plant, garbage treatment plant, health center, procurement and installation communication, navigation and air traffic control systems. It is a 4E airport with an annual passenger capacity of 500,000 passengers. It is the largest project in Dominica and the largest construction project in the region. Highway Project in the Dominican Republic The Dominican Republic is planning a new road project in Anbar. The construction of the 33-kilometer long highway is expected to cost 393 million US dollars. The project will be processed in PPP mode. The highway will have two lanes in either direction. Top speed of 100 km per hour. It connects Puerto Plata and Santiago, and the journey will take 30 minutes. The project includes tunnel sections, bridges and overpasses, as well as the sewage systems, graphic technology and lighting. The new highway will help in the development of tourism in the country, is the main contributor to the economy. It is expected to bring significant economic growth to the Dominican Republic. Monte Grande Dam Monte Grande Dam is in the western part of the Dominican Republic about 100 kilometers west to Santo Domingo City. The dam is a multipurpose project providing flood control and allowing the use of the water resources of the Yak del Sur River for irrigation purposes. In addition, future installation of turbines for 18 MW power generation is foreseen. The dam type is an embankment dam with a central asphaltic core. The dam will be constructed on top of 30 meters deep cutoff wall. The dam will be 57 meters height. The cross section on top will be 1.400 meters long. Cabo Rojo Pedernales Tourism Development Project At the Pedernales Tourism Development Project one of will be carried out in four phases. The first will start with six hotel chains, for a total average period of 10 years, and with an estimated investment of $2,245 million. That in the first phase an investment of $1,300 million is foreseen for the construction of 4,700 rooms, which will become 12,000 rooms at the end of the project. That the development of this new and spectacular tourist destination will create nearly 20,000 direct jobs, and more than 50,000 indirect jobs, which translates into economic dynamism in the region. Modernize Manzanillo Port the PPP program includes refurbishing works at Los Caquitos Beach and the zone's waste treatment facility. The modernization of Manzanillo Port will require up to US $46 a men. The works are expected to be put out to tender during the first half of 2023, as will work on the Duarte Highway, both promoted by the Public Works and Communications Ministry. Caridora Duarte is expected to receive investment of US $29.50 a men. Three power plants will also be refurbished at a cost of more than US $12 billion. In your opinion, which of these projects is the best for the Dominican Republic? Are there projects that we did not mention? Write the project you want in the next video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe the channel.